Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alex Guerrero, president and founder of The Society. Today's a special day. You know, one of the most fulfilling parts of this job is when we get to create a plan, execute that plan and see the fruits of that plan. And you know, that's branding at its best. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with uh, Mina Haragai for a little bit over a year. And one of my goals was to be able to showcase her talent. Mina, as a 10 year LPGA veteran, has not had equipment support. Consistent equipment support is probably one of the most significant things that you can have. And, you know, she's found some tremendous success in playing with PXG. And that was part of our plan. One of our plans was to be able to find the clubs that she wanted to play with and, you know, build a plan to have them offer her a contract. So about 8 p.m. last night, we kind of had a hunch that this was coming. Um, Mina had a tremendous, you know, break during uh, during COVID where she was playing on the Cactus Tour and she was just straight dominating. Uh, we formulated a plan to get some local attention since we knew that this particular company, PXG, was locally here, um, locally based here in Arizona. And so, you know, we had some fun with local media and we made sure to keep the narrative around the fact that, the fact that she'd been playing consistent clubs and really happy with the team there, um, you know, we thought that could really resonate with the brand. So as of 8 p.m. last night, we got an amazing email from uh, John and the PXG legal team Team, and it was a contract offer. So today's bittersweet. You know, we chose not to give her the news prior to the round this morning, even though we knew last night. I texted her caddy and fiance Travis, uh, and we both decided that it'd be best to wait. But now we get to give her some good news, um, you know, while she's probably kind of down. And so, you know, it's probably not going to be a super emotional moment, but, you know, for me personally, it's a very rewarding time. You know, I know how hard she's been working and I know how hard it is to be supported in this game. You know, I've been around it for about a year and a half now and it's really surprising how many women on the LPGA Tour aren't supported and are floating their own costs and floating their own training and ultimately not turning a profit, even if they're making cuts. So I think this is a very special day. I'm really excited to be calling her. I'm gonna be calling here in a bit, um, but really it's a testament to Mina's commitment um, not only on the course, but you know, to us, trusting in us. We've never had an LPGA, PGA client before. And you know, she saw something in us and gave us an opportunity. So this is really rewarding. And I know that uh, she's really gonna be appreciative. And I think it's just gonna lead to some more amazing things, you know, not having to worry about support and being able to cover, you know, expenses for certain things that come with being an LPGA pro. I think that goes hand in hand with being, you know, clear minded and being able to focus on the game itself. So I'm excited. We can't thank PXG enough. You know, John, um, Leela, Kate, you know, Mr. And Mrs. Parsons, Bob and Renee, we really can't thank you enough. And we know that Mina's not gonna stop here and she's, she won't stop until she's winning majors. So uh, here we go. All right, so I am currently texting with Travis, uh, Mina's fiance slash caddy. I don't know which comes first. It's in season, so we'll say caddy slash fiance right now. But uh, I'm excited to make this call, so uh, let's get to it. Let's see if she picks up. Hello? Mina. Hi, Alex. Hey, what's up? How are you? Good, hanging in there. Got it, cut it close today, huh? Yeah, wasn't my best stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been, I was, I was gonna try to get down there to be shoot face to face and try to see you. I contacted the PGA or the LPGA. They're like, uh, you're probably not gonna be surprising too many people. Um, but I wanted to hit you up. That last night we got the contract from PXG and Travis and I talked about it this morning and we wanted to kind of hold it from you. So it's bittersweet, I know, cause you know, you missed the cut by one stroke, but um, yeah, just calling you to let you know, man, you got an offer from PXG through the end of 2020. Um, uh, and uh, you're officially a PXG, part of the PXG troops. Yeah, man, it's uh, it was cool. It was hard for me not to tell you just because I know how hard you've been working and you know, like, gosh, what is this like year six without an equipment partner, like full full time? Uh -huh. 
It's crazy, man. So I know how hard you've been working. I know kind of a, a bummer, but I thought that would, uh, I wanted to tell you tonight because I, I thought that would be some good news. And, and, uh, and just so Travis doesn't get too jealous, he's in there too getting a little bit of cheese. What? <laughs> Awesome. Oh, well, that made my day a lot better. Good, man. I'm happy. And uh, shoot, good things to come. Yep, exactly. You know, I'm going to try to come out to Arkansas and be there when you get your black bag and, and make it official official. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good? Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Thanks of course. For All right, guys. Have a good night. Thanks. You too. Bye. That was pretty cool. Again, like, really rewarding. And, uh, it's great when a plan comes together and uh, and it's great when it happens with family and that's really what what we've become you know Mina's been over to our house has seen our kids grow up and we've seen her and, and Travis's uh, relationship develop um, so pretty cool now we got to go out there and win a major and hit some of these bonuses let's go